Hello and welcome back to Tableau Tip Tuesday, the series where we shine a light on some of Tableau's more obscure capabilities that you should be taking advantage of. From beginner to expert doesn't matter for this series, so get the team to tune in on Tuesday to get a Tableau Tip of the Day. Today we're going to be going over transparent layout containers, a way for us to get that professional branded aesthetic with just a couple of clicks here in Tableau. So we're going to take this relatively bland looking dashboard and we're going to spruce it up with our background image here. So let's go ahead and get to work. First thing we're going to want to do is take an image and drag it onto our dashboard here. Go ahead and make that full screen and we can browse for whatever image we'd like to set for the background of this particular dashboard. So we'll go ahead and select this random image, we'll fit and center it, and we'll go ahead and press OK. So now we have our background set. All we have to do now is float our layout containers over top of them. So I'll go ahead and grab my three charts here. We'll float them over the positions where we would like them to be. And you can see right now they're coming with a white background here. That is what we aim to change here. So we have our dashboard set up the way we would like it. Next step would be to select a container that we would like to make transparent. Go into our format, format our shading. And what we're after here is our default worksheet shading to be set to none. And just like that, you can see it is now transparent. We'll go ahead and copy that through to the remainder of our charts here. Close our format pane, so we're back to our dashboard pane. There is still one step here that I usually like to take to make this look a little better. So once again, if we select that sheet, go over to our dashboard data pane, we can toggle on over to layout, and we can set that background to be a light gray. And now we have the option of setting the opacity here so we can kind of leave a small ghost image of the layout container behind it. I find typically that's helpful to do to let people know um, that it is a container on top of an image, maybe help their eyes differentiating from foreground and background colors. So usually I will go ahead and leave that small ghost image in there. And there you go. With just a couple of clicks, we have transparent layout containers. So whether or not you're going for that branded look where you want to overlay your logo behind your uh, behind your dashboard or underlay rather or whether you're going for a more storied look and choose an image that can help you tell a story with your data the choice is up to you get creative all right that's it for today go ahead and join us next tuesday for another tip